testing. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dan Mondragon alongside Matt Panaggio here for the second annual Mauro Panaggio Invitational Tournament hosted by DME Sports Academy uh, here in Daytona Beach. Uh, we're getting ready to tip off the consolation game between Gallaudet University Bison versus the Nazareth College uh, Golden Flyers, which should uh, turn out to be a pretty good matchup. Uh, Nazareth took a tough loss yesterday to Washington Lee and Gallaudet fell short to Brockport uh, College out of New York. Should be an exciting game here. Uh, both teams took tough losses yesterday, but both hard-playing teams, uh, both good teams have good chemistry. 
going to be an exciting, an exciting one here today. Absolutely. Here are the starters uh, for the Golden Flyers. Number four, Jake Bergio. Number 11, Chris Jones. 21, Tyler Stinglin. Uh, 15, Daniel Jacob. And 24, Brendan Wint. And for Gallaudet, uh, number one, Biskupiak. Three, Sicoli. 10, Valencia. 21, Corey Smith. And 30, Jamal Garner. The Golden Flyers win the tip. Shot by Bergios from the short corner, and it's good to start off the game. Valencia will bring it to the front court for the Bison. Nazareth and Amanda Man defense to start the game. Corey Smith with the basketball on the wing. Swings it up top to the big man, Biskupiak. Biskupiak with the mid-range jumper, and it's good. Golden Flyers will get into their dribble weave offense at the top of the key. Tyler Stingling in the middle, kicks it out. Jake Bergio looking to work from the right wing. Drives middle. Left hand layup, just off the mark. Rebound by number 11, Chris Jones, who sticks it in for the easy two. Running a little dribble drive here for Nazareth. Something that you know all about here as your team's starting to work on it. Nazareth is doing a good job moving without the ball before the drive even happens. And I think that that play showed it. Absolutely. And you saw them in their warm-ups uh, working on that, jump stopping in the paint, kicking it, moving off the ball. Uh, so they're definitely, uh, they practice what they preach. Ball deflected out of bounds. It'll be Bison ball with 30 seconds on the shot clock. Scores 4-2. Nazareth's way with 18.30 to go. Ball stolen uh, by the Golden Flyers. Chris Jones with the right hand layup, and it's good. Sicoli at the top of the key for Gallaudet. A little slow to set up their offense here. Valencia with the deep three, and that's good. From about a foot and a half behind the NBA line, he knocks it down. Big shot right there. Kick out just inside the NBA line for Bergio, and he is trying to pick up from yesterday. Did not have a great offensive game, got himself into some foul trouble, uh, and he's off to a great start with six points here early on. Garner over to Valencia on the left wing. Kick it to the high post for the big fella, and he's got a three ball of his own. And both teams going shot for shot here early on. Chris Jones for the Flyers will set up the offense. And the shot by Daniel Jacob is good from the wing. Another three ball. Not sure about the defense, but definitely an exciting offensive game so far. Yeah, both teams off to a great start offensively. Only one missed shot thus far. Chris Jones drives left and finishes. Crafty finish by the Florida native Chris Jones. Only a freshman uh, scored in double digits yesterday. Had 12 points for the Bison. Bergio wide open at the top of the key. And that's just off the mark. Turnover by the Bison. It's going to lead to an easy two and a foul. Sicoli commits the foul on number 24, Brendan Wint, and he will go to the free throw line for a pair. Jake Bergio establishing himself here early. Uh, the two leading scores for the Golden Flyers were held to just six points. Uh, by the Brockport uh, defense, oh, I'm sorry, by the uh, Washington and Lee defense. Um, and he's looking to pick up right where he couldn't leave off yesterday, and he's off to a good start. What do you think so far from both of these teams? What do you see, Matt? Well, for this consolation game, so far it's been one of the most exciting games of this tournament. Uh, a lot of good offense, moving the ball, hitting some shots, especially from three, uh, and not only three, from deep three, a couple NBA range shots. 
Um, so I think the coaches now are starting to talk defensively, trying to contain the, uh, the opposite team. And uh, let's, see, let's see how it works here. Absolutely, both teams uh, with, with good shooting ability. Uh, Valencia yesterday showed that he's got that kind of range. He's comfortable taking those shots. Uh, he averages 18 points a game for the Bison. Um, so he's not shy to shoot it, and he can definitely stroke the basketball from the perimeter. Here's Wemp with a pair of free throws. The first one's good. Gets both of them to go. Isaac Nelson checks into the game for the Golden Flyers. Chris Jones will bring the ball into the front court. Up top to Biskupiak. Over to his cousin Valencia, who pulls up from 15 feet and an air ball, but Chris Jones tries to keep it alive and does not, steps out of bounds. It'll be Nazareth ball. 16 minutes left to go here in the first half. Score is 14 to 10 in favor of the Golden Flyers. I love the energy by Jones for Gallaudet. He's only a freshman, but he plays so hard. He does. Rebounding, hustling after the ball. He's a good driver getting into the paint. I think he's going to have a great career for, uh, for Coach Kovacs at uh, Gallaudet. Absolutely. Only a freshman. Shows great maturity. He's able to get to the rim um, and is very crafty. The lefty is uh, long and wiry. A nice block there by Biskupiak, protecting the rim, something they uh, struggled with yesterday. It'll be Golden Flower basketball underneath. The Bison go 2-3 zone out of the inbound. Weak side corner, three ball no, no good for Isaac Nelson. Kicks it over to Stinglin, just off the mark. Valencia will push the break. Over to Sicoli, back to Valencia. Chris Jones pick and roll with Biskupiak. Over to Holman on the top of the key, he takes a quick three, no good. Another, oh, we have a foul call against Biskupiak. Looked like he was straight up. I don't know about that one, but he's going to get the foul call, and that'll be his first. Team second. And not happy about the call either. No, Biskupiak is uh, kindly and respectfully asking the referee what he did wrong. Uh, felt he was uh, straight up and down. Gable's first free throw is no good. And into the game number four, Trace Martin for the Bison. Holman will come out. Sicoli will sub out for number 33. Cody Crace, senior forward from Westfield, Indiana. Gable's second free throw is good. And Nazareth, a little full court pressure. And an unforced error, a little miscommunication there between Trace Martin and Biskupiak. And it'll be Nazareth ball. 15-10, 14-40 to go here in the first half. Nazareth still on top. Gallaudet goes 2-3 zone. Good ball movement by the Golden Flyers. Went over to Stingland, who is misses again. Uh, the second leading scorer for the Golden Flyers is 0 for 2 from 3. See a little bit of frustration. The Scoopiak swings the ball from the top of the key. Shuffle cut to Chris Jones underneath. Good inside, great pass inside to the Scoopiak for the easy two. Uh, Trace Martin with the assist there. Nice post feed. 
Yeah, Biskupiak, he does a good job using angles, pushing his defender up, pushing him down, trying to get a good passing angle and, and scoring angle, and showed it right there with a nice play. Yeah, Biskupiak is a maybe the most experienced player on the floor, uh, definitely for the for the Bison. And that three is good for number 10, Isaac Nelson. Biskupiak attended Gallaudet University in 2006. Uh, left the program, is a father of four, and actually came back to school to finish and is a part of their team. So he brings great maturity, a veteran body, and he's a load inside for, for the opposing team. Nazareth capitalizing on another Gallaudet turnover. Valencia creeps his way into the lane and hits a tough one-handed right-hand layup. Good play there in transition. It's an it's a exciting offensive game here. Let's see if they can keep it up. Ball into the high post. One on one between Bergio and Biskupiak. Underneath and a foul. That foul is going to be on number 33 for the Bison, Cody Crace. Gable at the line for the second time tonight. First free throw is good. A few substitutions for both teams. Number two, Brendan Broderick, coach's son, will check into the game for Brendan Went. Number 45, John Werner. Number three, Cody Green. And Coach Broderick on the sideline now, showing his footwork. Some of the guys he, he subbed out, trying to teach them. For the Bison, number five checks into the game, Preston Kelly, as well as number 30, Jamal Garner. Inside to Garner, shot in the corner by Trace Martin is no good. Ball may have been deflected. He's asking for a foul. Little confusion between the referees. The coach wants a tip ball, but it'll be a golden flyer basketball. Broderick will push the ball into the front court and run the offense. Cody Green with a three, no good, but the stick back by number 45, John Werner. Cody Green had a great game yesterday, can shoot the basketball. And now applying some pressure on number 20, Sean Daniels. And he deflects the ball out of bounds, but it'll stay with Gallaudet. Great energy uh, from Cody to come in and uh, put some ball pressure, take a shot, and he's definitely a capable shooter. Yeah, and I love the energy from the Nazareth bench. Coming off a tough game yesterday. Seems like they're all positive, good energy. And it's showing on the court now with this 10 point lead to start this first half. Preston Kelly with the bounce pass. Garner, but no good, goes out of bounds. Uh, another turnover for Gallaudet. Gallaudet struggled with taking care of the basketball yesterday. Had 23 turnovers against Brockport. Uh, they've got to try to keep those down here against Nazareth. Ball over to Broderick on the wing, back up top. Good ball movement. Into the high post to Stingland. Misses the jump shot, rebound Garner. Kelly will push to the front court. And another turnover for Gallaudet, and it'll be a foul on number four, Trace Martin. Sean Daniels seemed to lose the handle and turn the basketball over. Biskupiak will check back into the game for Cody Grace. 24-14. Nazareth in the lead, 11-13 to go. Gallaudet will stay in the 2-3 zone. Cody Green back up top, Stingland. 
Roderick, Stingling on the wing to his brother Stingling in the middle. Ball deflected, but it'll stay with the Golden Flyers. Stingling will inbound to his older brother in the middle of the key. Kicks it back out to the little brother who shoots three. No good. And it's going to be an over the back on Stinglin. It'll be Gallaudet basketball. Nazareth now moving the ball well, getting some good shots. Shots I think that they, Coach uh, Broderick's happy with. They're just not falling. They need to stick with it. Yep, Keep and shooting those shots. Got to knock down some shots against the zone sometimes if they're going to hope to have some success and let them get out of it. Preston Kelly, the, the Scoopiak, misses the easy two. And here come the Eagles the other way. Cody Green tried to slip a bounce pass to Stinglin, but it was deflected by Gallaudet. It'll be Nazareth basketball on the baseline. Same inbound play. Stinglin to Stinglin, right in the 15 foot area, and he knocks down a jump shot. Cody Green applying pressure. Preston Kelly sets up the offense for the Bison. Nice give and go. Good Preston play. Kelly to Biskupiak and cuts, and he gets it. Misses the, the easy two, but the Gardner's there to pick up the miss and stick it in for the Bison. Much needed bucket there to cut the lead to 10. 10 minutes to go here in the, sec in the first half. Cody Green back up top to Stinglin. A deep three from the top. Off the mark, rebound, Biskupiak. Outlet to Martin, who pulls up for three, and he knocks down a deep NBA range three in transition. That that's looked like a little <laughs> step. Hurry. Yeah, that's one of those that. shots as a coach. You go, wait. Okay, yep, that's good. Nice shot. No Man. teammates in to rebound. Takes the deep three, but a knockdown. And he made some shots yesterday um, and, and a confident shooter, confident player. What a shot there. Um, big, <laughs> I mean, really, it looks like Steph Curry coming down in transition, taking a quick, quick release three. And sometimes, and you, you wonder if these guys – uh, know that it's the NBA line. Most courts don't have the NBA line, um, but we see a lot of NBA threes taken here in this gym, especially from teams that aren't used to it. Um, but it doesn't seem to be bothering either team. Both have made deep, deep threes. Um, we've got a uh, seven-point game here with 9.45 to go. And this is the uh, first media timeout. One guy that's exciting for me to watch is Gardner for Gallaudet. He does all the dirty work this last play for that deep, deep three by Steph Curry. Uh, he, he, you know, great give and go, miss layup. He tips it in. Yep, yep, Defensively, great. Defensively, he's, he's anchoring that 2-3 defense. I mean, he's, it may not show up as much on the stat sheet, but he does a lot of positive things for this Gallaudet team. Absolutely. One of those glue guys that you love to have on your team. They compete, they work hard, and, and like you said, do the dirty work. And he plays with a passion. You see him on the bench. You see him communicating with his teammates. Uh, he plays the game with great passion. Um, and, and, and Gallaudet has got to continue to use their, their size advantage. Nazareth basketball, Went will push it into the front court. And a quick trap by the Bison. Kick it over in the middle to Bergio, over to Stinglin, who shoots the three. And just in and out again for Stinglin. He's showing a little bit of frustration. 0 for 3 from the field. All good looks. All just in and out. Martin will pump fake and a floater. No good. Rebound. There he is again. Garner doing the dirty work. Sticking the basketball back in for two off the Martin miss. Ball over to Cody Green, who will fire. No good. Rebound, Bergio. In the middle to number five, Stevan Gable, who hits the jump shot. Great offensive rebound by Bergio. Preston Kelly over to Martin on the right wing. Corey Smith on the left side. Tries to kick it out to Kelly, but a turnover. Cody Green will push. He's got numbers. Bounce pass to Wint and an easy two for the Golden Flyers. Nazareth continues to capitalize off of Gallaudet turnovers. Yeah, one thing you don't want to do as Gallaudet is, is turn the ball over or take quick shots. 
that lead to easy transition buckets for Nazareth. They want to cut into this early lead. They got to use their offense wisely. You know, they got to take good shots, sprint back in transition. And Absolutely. Get into that zone as quickly as they can. Yeah, no question about that. Too many easy baskets for Nazareth. Um, they've got to utilize Biskupiak and his size. He was a load for Bro for an athletic Brockport team yesterday. They did a good job. And, uh, and a big fella, you don't want to wear him out by turnovers and transition. You want to use his size and get some good post feeds. Biskupiak drives left and shot is blocked from behind by Bergio. Biskupiak thought he had the angle. Bergio with a great defensive play. Stinglin will jump stop at the elbow, swing over to Went. And the Flyers really moving that basketball extremely well. But an offensive foul on number five, Stephen Gable. And that's unfortunate. Yeah, that was a beautiful offensive play. And the shot went in. But uh, just an offensive foul there. Can't be, can't be upset with that, though, as a coach. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a, one of those misfortunate ones. But great ball movement, great unselfishness by Nazareth. Corey Smith with the basket, basketball on the right side. Over to Preston Kelly. Garner with the pick and roll. Corey Smith inside. Ball is ripped away and it'll be the jump ball. Stingling got his great defense, great job moving his feet, beat him to the spot and gets two hands on the ball and ties him up for the jump ball. Virgil will check back in for Gable. Number 11 also checked into the game, Chris Jones. Gallaudet still in the 2-3. Bergio at the top of the key. Inside, no good. Chris Jones just off the mark with the 15-foot jump shot. This Kupiak at the top of the key over to Chris Corey Smith. Loses the handle, but Martin's there to pick it up. High pick and roll with Garner. Tries to bounce pass. It looked like it was off of Stingland's knee. And he's going to be fouled. And a tough basket off balance. Martin commits the foul. And Stingland somehow finds that, finds a way to put the basketball in the in the hoop. No easier way to get, get going offensively than to get some easy transition buckets, some free throws. Here, Stingland gets both. Yeah, it's good to see Stingland uh, get on the scoreboard here. We'll have a chance for a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Stinglin averaging 16 and a half points per game. Senior for, from Rochester, New York. Free throw's no good. Preston Kelly will push. Drives it, tries to skip it in a wild pass. Hits off of the head of number 10, Isaac Nelson. It will be deflected out of bound. And it'll be Gallaudet basketball. Corey Smith will inbound to Valencia, who got a much needed rest. Another give and go by Biscupi and Corey Smith, but ball mishandled turnover. Went will push forward. Kicks it over to Stingland wide open. And he's got it. So the tough layup gets him going, and he's able to knock down the open three. It's good to see him get going offensively for the Golden Flyers. And after, as he's running back on defense, he's saying to himself, finally. Yep. Timeout, Gallaudet. If you're, uh, if you're a coach uh, from Gallaudet, what are you saying to your guys here? Down 14, now six and a half to go. I think they need to, um, when they're making their drives and, and running their offense, they need to be careful with their passes. A couple plays uh, in a row here where they're turning over, leading to quick shots for uh, the Golden Flyers, and then that last play there, no one ever picked up the ball. Even though they're in that 2-3 zone, you don't want that ball to penetrate right through the middle. And they did, and it ended up with an easy three uh, by the Golden Flyers. 35-21 Golden Flyers. Six and a half minutes to go here in the first half.
Gallaudet ball. Nazareth will pick up full court. Inbound to Valencia. Back to Kelly who will push it over to the front court. Great ball pressured by Stingland. Valencia on the left wing over to Gardner. Swings it to Corey Smith, looks inside. Gets it to the big fell at about 16 feet. Valencia with the deep three on the right wing. No good. And an M1 offensive rebound by Corey Smith. Goes up and gets it, sticks it in, and the foul for a three-point opportunity for Corey Smith. Great play right at the buzzer there. That's, that's heartbreaking. After 29 seconds of good defense, give up an offensive rebound and one. Great play there by Smith. Smith's free throw is good. Went will push the basketball forward. Gallaudet back in a man to man. Ball to Bergio in the pinch post. One on one versus Gardner. Swings it over to Stingland on the dribble handoff, who gets all the way into the basket for a finger roll off the glass. Nice little play there by the Golden Flyers. Good touch there with the finger roll high arcing off the glass. Not an easy shot. And an offensive call against Corey Smith. And that's Stinglin who takes the charge. Stinglin is starting to take over this game. And it started with a and one bucket, three, some good plays here, even defensively. He's, he's really starting to uh, show his presence on the court in this first half. Same play, pinch post to Bergio. He's working against Biskupiak. Doesn't have much, backdoor cut by Stinglin. Kicks it over to the corner. That three is no good by number 10, Isaac Nelson. Good offensive possession for Nazareth. Valencia, Biskupiak on the pick and roll back to Biskupiak, and that's going to be an offensive foul on the big man. And he's asking the referee how it doesn't feel. Big screener, mm -hmm. big physical guy. If Gallaudet wants to have a chance here, they need to stop turning over this ball. Two plays in a row, offensive fouls, some sloppy passes. They need to get out of this streak here. Absolutely. Virgil will work against Garner. Lowers the shoulder. Offensive foul. And Garner's fired up. Returning the favor to the Nazareth Golden Flyers. Great play. Ciccoli back into the game for the Bison. Brendan Broderick will check back in for the Golden Flyers, along with Cody Green and Chris Jones. High pick and roll with Corey Smith and Gardner kicks it over. And another unforced error by the Bison. Holman with the turnover. Cody Green over to Bergio to Broderick. To Bergio at the top of the key will work against Garner. Drives right and one. Great take by Bergio showing some athleticism to absorb the contact, great body control, and get the uh, and one basket there. Yeah, great play. He, he seems very comfortable catching that ball at the high post area, especially good driver, makes good decisions. He's, he's having a good game so far. And the three-point play is good for Bergio. Jake is senior from Brockport, New York. Corey Smith gets all the way to the basket and a nice lefty finish for the freshman. Broderick over to Cody Green who will 
hesitate none and shoot the three, no good. Rebound tip to Corey Smith, who pushes the break, kicks it over to Valencia in the right corner. Up top to Sicoli. Back to Valencia looking to feed the post. Reverse layup attempt for Valencia, no good, but Garner with the left hand stick in right over the front of the rim. Nice job by Garner to be involved. Just do it, like you said, just doing all the dirty work, uh, bailing his teammates out. Looks to be in a little bit of pain. That's um, the pain of exhaustion over there <laughs> from the hard he's, work uh, he's been. He's definitely been big for, for the Bison here in the first half. 12-point uh, lead for Nazareth, three minutes to go. We have a timeout. Nazareth doing a pretty good job of not allowing Gallaudet to go into the post and utilize their size advantage. One thing I think is interesting that Coach Broderick is yelling on the sideline is be active. He's, I think one of the reasons he's saying that is so they can't get the ball into the post, make those passing lanes look smaller. Because um, when Gallaudet gets moving, gets the ball into the post, they got good passing bigs, they're a pretty good team. And, and so far, Nazareth has done a good job, ex minus the last two plays, uh, slowing Gallaudet down. They sure have. Virgil will inbound to Broderick here. Gallaudet back in a man-to-man. Sicoli on the ball. Ball swung. Stingling to Virgil, to Broderick. To Virgil at the top of the key. Who in and out move, a nice move. And we have a foul. Not sure about that one. Nice in and out move to get by Holman. And the foul, not sure who the foul was called on. Uh, number 42 for the Bison, Joe Kennard, uh, was ready and set to take the charge. May have been called on him or on Holman prior to the shot. Golden Flyers now in the bonus. Nine fouls against the Bison. Bergio's first free throw is good. And count the second as well. Substitution for the Golden Flyers. Number 22, Kevin Underwood will check in for Bergio to get a rest before halftime. Number 33, Cody Crace will also check into the game for the Bison. Good play. Pick, great pass from Sicoli to Kennard. Three ball from Smith, no good. Rebound, Nazareth, and Broderick will push the basketball off the floor. Nice pass to Stingland. Kicks it out to number 15, Daniel Jacob. Ball's reverse, baseline drive. Kick to Stingland in the corner. Does he have another one? Air ball. Valencia pushes, three on two break. Ball swung over to Valencia for a good look from three. No good. Kennard, the big fella, with the rebound, kicks it to Valencia. Floater, no good. Kennard, another offensive rebound, and will be fouled. And he has come in here and picked up the, the where Garner left off with rebounding, trying to take charges, being very, very active uh, for the Bison. And that's what a bench is supposed to do. They're supposed to raise the energy. Uh, a lot of guys come off the bench and they're upset or, or mad they're not starting. This guy comes in the game, gets two big offensive rebounds, extra possessions for his team. After Gardner was doing the same thing. It's awesome. Smith for three pump fakes. He's going to drive it off two feet. Count the basket. Looked like there was a little bit of contact. No call. But the two is good for Corey Smith. 42-30. Got that down 12. Minute and a half to go. Bergio top of the key. Great ball movement again by Nazareth. Into the high post to Bergio. Back outside to Broderick, who hits the three. Great ball movement inside, outside against the zone. Textbook zone offense there by the Golden Flyers. Go to Crace over to Valencia. Back to Crace. One dribble off two feet. Broderick takes a charge, and he's having an impact here on the game. A lot of charges being attempted, being taken by both teams. It 
Jacoby Nazareth ball. Just under a minute left here in the first half. Nazareth leads 45 to 30. Gallaudet back into 2 3. Jones over to Jacob. Back to Broderick on the left side. High pick and roll. Shoots a leaner in the mid range area. No good. Chris, Corey Smith with the rebound. Hesitates, tries to spin, loses the basketball. Broderick comes up with it, two on one. And a huge block by number 33, Cody Crace, coming from the weak side to block the shot and save that basket. Awesome play there. Awesome. Great hustle advantage, Nazareth, two on one break, and he comes up with a huge block. Great play. Four second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Baseline. Inbounds play for the Golden Flyers in the corner. Over to Underwood. Underwood kicks it to Broderick. Pump fake. Another 15-foot pull up. Just in and out. Rebound. Kennard. Probably not the best shot there by Broderick. Probably should have held for one or at least closer to that yep. shot clock. Because now Gallaudet gets a chance to, to play here. Offense. Ten seconds. Valencia's working up top. Kennard sets the screen. High pull up. No good. Off the mark, rebound, Nazareth. And that'll be it for the first half. Nazareth will go into the locker room up 15 points over Gallaudet. What are your thoughts so far uh, here in this first half of our consolation game, Matt? I think this is a very exciting game. Um, a lot of teams, you know, probably would have been upset not in the championship game. These two teams came here ready to play today. Um, Nazareth offensively has been moving the ball picking this zone apart inside out good ball movement driving to the basket driving kick uh, got a lot of points in transition and that's been kind of the story of the game is is also transition with Gallaudet a little bit too many turnovers leading to easy baskets and uh, that's you know yeah and now uh, you know that's a little bit of a repeat from yesterday Gallaudet uh, with uh, 23 turnovers against Brockport uh, we will have stats here for you shortly, uh, but I'm assuming they're, they've got to be on pace for at least 20 turnovers here again uh, in the first half. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things, not just the turnover, but when they're turnovers for easy layups, uh, those are absolutely killers for you and, and your team when you're trying to stop somebody. Um, Nazareth scores 45. They're on pace to score 90 here in the first half. Uh, so Gallaudet's definitely got to cut down the turnovers, take care of the basketball, because um, when they've gotten good shots, uh, they've, they've been able to get to the rim. Uh, they've been able to knock down some open jumpers. And uh, they've got to continue to get back on defense, defend, and get better shots offensively. You don't want to give this Nazareth team that many extra possessions because they're too good. They move the ball. They share the ball way too well. They've got too good of shooters um, and, and too good of players in Bergio and Stingland. But you don't want to give them any extra opportunities if you don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. There's uh, 13 minutes left here in the halftime uh, clock, and we will be back very shortly.
And we are back here to set to start the second half of the game between Gallaudet and Nazareth College. Gallaudet will start with the basketball. Nazareth in a man-to-man. -man. For Smith, over to Garner. Up top to Sicoli. Tries to throw it inside to Garner, but deflected out of bounds. Valencia with a look in the corner, out of the inbounds play, no good. Went will push the basketball forward. Kicks it to Bergio, short corner, floater, no good. Rebound to Skupiak, over to Sicoli. Deflected, Garner goes up, shot deflected, the Skupiak rebounds and is hit on the way up. And he's a guy that likes to talk to the referees a little bit, does it in a as sportsmanlike way as you can do it, not disrespectful, but he uh, definitely likes to chat with the officials. The Skupiak with seven first half points. Two rebounds. We'll have a pair of free throws here. First one's no good. Both free throws off the mark. Rebound, Bergio. Went will push. Over to Stenglin, tries the middle, bounce pass to Jones, who gets fouled on the baseline. Bergio at the elbow, step through, shot no good, gets his own rebound. Kicks it over to Jacob, who buries the three. Thought about it for a second. He did, hesitated, little head fake, and shot it, and gets it to go. Foul on Went. the dead ball, sideline, 18.30 to go, 48.30. Valencia on the wing, leans in, draws the contact, no foul by the official there, wanted the call, looked like the right call. Virgil, post step, kicks it over to Stingland, wide open in the corner, and his three is good, and Nazareth comes out in a 6-0 run here to start the second half, 51-30. All Golden Flyers in the first two minutes. Ball over to Valencia, kicks it to Biskupiak. Wide open look for number 33, Crace, no good. Rebound went. Nice pass to Jones for the easy layup. Went four first half assists. That's his fifth. He's having a great game getting his teammates involved and making plays for others. Ten assists as a team for Nazareth in the first half. Only two turnovers. And uh, Gallaudet on the other side, only four assists as a team. And 14 first half turnovers uh, for Gallaudet. So a flip-flop of assists and turnovers. Uh, Nazareth taking care of the basketball. Very, very effective. Two, only two turnovers in the first half. Uh, to Gallaudet's 14 on pace uh, for 28, 28, and they've had two here in the second half already. Yep, turnovers has been the name of the game so far. Um, Nazareth hasn't found it yet this, this second half offensively. Um, 
Piscupiak got to the free throw line. Gallaudet. Gallaudet hasn't found er, it. Sorry, yep. Gallaudet. Yep, they haven't found it yet offensively. Piscupiak got to the line, missed two. Haven't really gotten to the flow. Yep, yep. And Valencia thought he got fouled. Could have easily, it was a 50-50 call. Uh, didn't get the call his way. And, uh, and Nazareth has come out hot here in the second half, uh, trying to put the Bison away early. The lead is 23. 17.39 to go. Eight oh run for the Golden Flyers. Sicoli will bring the ball up and set the offense. Nazareth and Amanda Mann. Ball over to Corey Smith, over to Crace, to Valencia, inside post feed to Biskupiak, who's gonna work over Jones, shoots the short jumper, no good. But gets his rebound, steals the rebound, no good on the layup. Ball is deflected, back up, and the big fella on the third attempt gets it to go. Gallaudet and man-to-man. -man. Stinglin on guarding, being guarded by Valencia. Corey Smith up top on defense. Dribble weave, crossover. Ball deflected by Miskupiak, and it's going to be a kick ball. Bergio will check back into the game for Jones. Stingling with the inbound. Ball deflected by Corey Smith. Will stay with the Golden Flyers. All up top to Went. Off the stagger, a look from three for Jacob, no good. Rebounded by Bergio. Up top to the corner to Stingland, drives middle. And that's going to be on the floor. Nazareth basketball underneath again, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Stingland. To Gable, leans in off two feet, and a nice strong take there by number five, Stephen Gable. Sicoli over to Valencia on the wing. Up top to Crace, over to Corey Smith, who mishandles it, but is able to chase it down. Sicoli up top, being guarded by Went. Pokes it out, steal at the top of the key. Went one on one, and he's gonna finish over Crace. Great defensive play by Went there to poke the ball out of Valencia and for the easy two on the other end. And Went is a sneaky athlete. Can, can really run, can jump, sees the floor well. He's a really good player. He's had, quietly had himself a really good game. as five assists. Um, hasn't scored the ball a ton, but has made some great defensive plays and is leading his team running the show. Pushing the break here again. Nice pass to Bergio. Leans in. And a nice little floater by Bergio. Another assist for Went. He's got seven on the night. Corey Smith working up top. Calls a timeout. Gallaudet. They got to try to stop the bleeding here. Fourteen to two run by the Golden Flyers to start the second half in less than five minutes of play. Um, if you're Coach Kovacs, what are you telling your guys? I think, like you, just like you said, they need to stop the bleeding. This next possession, I draw up a play, maybe a go-to play, uh, try to get the ball inside to one of their strong post players, and then just play. Try to get an easy bucket, a good shot, to kind of end this momentum that Nazareth has started this second half with. Yeah, I agree. Nazareth's made some shots obviously, um, but they've done a good job of establishing themselves in the defensive end. Nothing easy for the Bison. They've had to work extremely hard for uh, for every possession, every shot that they get. Um, and uh, and they've gone a couple, again, the turnovers, a couple turnovers for easy runouts. One thing Gallaudet has done a good job of today is rebounding the basketball. 
They're winning on the offensive glass. In the first half alone, they had eight offensive rebounds. And in the second half so far, uh, Biskupiak has three or four himself. So they've done a good job. I think handling the basketball has been a key. And then uh, transition defense for Gallaudet. Absolutely. Preston Kelly will check into the game for Gallaudet alongside Sean Daniels. And uh, number four, Trace Martin. Trace on the wing, pick and roll with Garner. Swings it over to Daniels. Inside to Biskupiak, one-on-one -on -one versus Bergio. And an easy basket drop step. Nice job by the big fella who has a huge size advantage. And you got to think Gallaudet's got to keep going inside to him. Nazareth over to uh, number 10. Isaac Nelson went up top of the key to Gable. Out to the younger Stinglin brother. Looks to Gable. Doesn't get it. Backdoor cut by Went. Nice play. And a tricky little up and under finger roll with a little razzle dazzle there. Nice play by Went. Continues to have a very solid game. Preston Kelly will push for the Gallaudet. Over to Martin. Gardner posting up. Side pick and roll. Rejects it over to Preston Kelly. Kelly's got a little killer crossover there. Uh, it was deflected out of bounds, but yesterday in the game versus Brockport, had a couple of nice moves starting with that crossover move. He's a, yeah, he's a very good ball handler, deceptively crafty with the ball in his hands. Inside to Biskupiak again, and he is establishing himself inside um, for the Bison here. Great job offensively to continue to go inside, and Nazareth seems to have no answer for him. Ball top to Gable over to Stinglin. Back up top to Went. Over to Chris Jones. Isaac Nelson, I'm sorry. And Gable will be called for a travel. And it'll be Gallaudet ball. Score is 61-36 with 14.05 to play. I don't know what Coach Kovac said in that timeout, but whatever it was, it's working. Two easy buckets inside and some stops as well. Yep. These sub substitutions have done a good job of getting the ball inside the Biskupiak. Martin with a long three off the mark. Gardner keeps it alive, saves it. Gardner to Martin, dives on the floor, and a foul will be called. A foul will be called on Martin. It'll be called a trip. It'll be Nazareth basketball. Martin's not afraid to get it up from deep. Yeah. He's got deep range and confidence. To yes, shoot he those does. Shots. Yes, he does. Kevin Broderick uh, will check into the game. Brendan Broderick, I'm sorry. Kevin is his father, the coach. Brendan will set up the offense for the Golden Flyers. Gable swings it to Broderick. Gable at the top of the key, working one on one against Ms. Skupiak. Slips by, kicks it to Nelson, but turns it over. Preston Kelly, two on one. Will go, nice Euro step and a left hand, no good. And the stick back by Daniels. Nice job there by the Bison to follow that shot. Sean Daniels with the stick back. And a, again, a crafty little move by Preston Kelly. The Bison showing some life here uh, in, in the latter part of the first half of the second half here. 61-38, 13-15 to go, and a timeout. And that play started with the Skupiak's outlet pass. Good Smart play, got grabbed the rebound, saw the floor, threw the ball ahead, and uh, again, Gallaudet on the offensive rebounds, able to get some extra buckets, extra possessions. Yeah, Biskupiak has been really good here uh, after after that Nazareth run. Uh, he's been a key reason for for the Bison showing this life. And uh, inter really cool story about Biskupiak, uh, as we said earlier, attended Gallaudet. Uh, back in 2006, played for, for the program in 2003. He is the father of four children and has come back to school to finish his degree. It actually has two years left to play, so he will be back next year. He's a junior, uh, and he will be back next year as a senior. So pretty cool story um, of the uh, junior leader uh, and the veteran presence. You know, you don't, you don't often get and collegiate athletics guys that are that much more experienced, but you see it in the NBA all the time uh, with guys that have been around for a long, long time that can be great mentors and leaders uh, for the younger players. Nazareth will set up the offense here. Stinglin up top over to Broderick in the left wing. A lot of cutting, a lot of moving. 
One-on-one, -on -one, Stinglin versus Gardner. Moves his feet, does a good job. Younger Stinglin, jump stops and a floater, no good. Rebound tipped by Gardner. Preston Kelly will come up with it. And will push the ball forward. Preston Kelly behind the back, nice move. Kick to Biskupiak, who mishandles it and is not able to stick it in. But there's Gardner again with an offensive rebound. Loose ball on the floor. Gardner comes up with it over to Biskupiak, and they finish. Great job by the Gallaudet Bison to establish themselves inside. And Biskupiak has eight out of the ten points this half so far for the Bison. Doing a great job on the glass. Along Shot by Stinglin and a yeah. three. Man, what a dagger there. Start to cut into the lead, get it down to 21. Leads back up to 24 after that Stinglin three ball. Pressing over to Daniels, inside to Garner. Establishes post position up top to Martin, flicks it. No good. Rebound Nazareth, and there's going to be a foul on Biskupiak in the backcourt. Tripped up number 11, Chris Jones. Just under 12 minutes to go in the second half here. The lead is 24. Ball on the left wing to Stingland, up top to Broderick. Pinch post to Bergio, who will work against Garner, pulls up, and no good on the mid-range pull up. Preston Kelly will push. Calling for a Garner screen, high pick and roll. Skips it to Martin in the corner. Ooh, heaves one up, no good. Rebound, Bergio. Outlet to Broderick, who will push forward. Finds Jones in the corner, no good for Nelson. Rebound, Daniels over to Preston Kelly on the left side of the floor. He steps into a long three, no good. Rebound, Broderick. Nice pass by Broderick to Stinglin, uh, just off the back of the rim, no good. And it's gonna be a foul on number 11, Chris Jones on not, Biscupi. I'm not down. sure if these are great shots the Bison are taking. Last two times down, they took quick, long distance threes. I don't think that's their game. I think they need to move the ball, work it inside, inside out. Those are the best threes to get. Um, Cause they do, have, they do have the ability to shoot it from deep. Yeah, I agree with you. Coming down early in the shot clock, one, you're wearing your bigs down. Garner was calling for a breather there, uh, but you wear your bigs down. You don't establish and use your size. Nazareth, not a big team. Uh, tallest guy is, Ber is uh, Jake Ber Bergio, uh, six foot five. And other than that, they have no answer for Biskupiak and no size to match with him uh, and the strength of Garner either. So they've got to continue to go inside and get into the paint. And a turnover on the post feed to Garner. Broderick over to Cody Green, who checks into the game. Back to Broderick, swings it to Stinglin. Stinglin working on Kelly. Post feed to Bergio. Double team by Kelly. Bergio dribbles out. Tries to get out of it, but Daniel comes up with the scene. Nice move to double the post there by Gallaudet. Euro step, floater, no good. Stinglin will push the other way. As they're setting up the offense here. Gable swings it over to Cody Green, looks to shoot, swings it back up top to Broderick. Here comes Stingling off a screen. Bergio in the high post. Working, double team comes, kicks it to Cody Green, fires a three ball, no good. Preston Kelly rebound, and it's going to be fouled by Bergio on the rebound. Went will check back into the game for Nazareth. Broderick will get a breather. Gardner will come out for the Bison. And Kennard will come in as the secondary big. Inbound pass by Daniel Stolen. Stingland to Cody Green and just shoots the 15-footer and gets it to go. Another turnover for an easy two. Unforced error by the Bison. Continue to hurt them. 
Kennard slips the screen, no good. Back up top to Preston Kelly. Rejects the screen. And a foul on Cody Green. And his teammates help Preston up. Seems that in a few of these ball screen situations, uh, the pressure of Nazareth has caused Gallaudet to reject the screens and not use them patiently. Not, not a lot of great screens being set, and it's caused them to uh, be unable to get into the paint and really utilize the pick and roll. Biskupiak has not gotten a break yet. Let's see what Coach Kovacs calls up here. Oliver Martin to Daniels. Bounce pass to Kennard. Goes up and a nice move by number 42, Kennard, on the right, left block off of the inbounds play. Great job by the big fella. Went over to Stinglin. Dribble weave to Cody Green. Over to Gable. Back to Went. Stinglin at the top of the key, one on one. Cody Green off the stagger screen. Gable sets the screen, deflected by Vescupiak. Pass off to Mark to Stinglin. Four seconds on the shot clock. Went will shoot it up from the left wing. No good. Rebound by Martin. Reverses it to Preston Kelly. Kennard comes and sets the screen. Size advantage inside. Not a good look by Martin there, but they get the foul call or deflection. And it'll be Gallaudet basketball. This Nazareth team moves the ball so well, and they move so well without the ball, that it's wearing this Gallaudet team down uh, on this defensive end. Definitely making them guard for a large majority of the shot clock. Inside feet to the Scoopiak, and again, no answer for the big man inside. Leads down to 22. And the Scoopiak has 17 points to lead this Gallaudet team. 10 of them coming. Here in the, in the first half. 12 minutes, yep. Yeah. Ball up top to Stinglin, the younger brother, over to Cody Green, wide open. He's going to fire, and no good for Cody Green. Again, inside to Vescupiak, who's going to be foul on the shot, and we'll have a pair of free throws here. And timeout. Nazareth College. Leads 22, eight minutes to go. If you're the Bison, what do you need to do here in the last eight minutes? How do you get yourself back into this game? Uh, I think they definitely needed this time out to get a little rest, but in order to get back in this game, it's not going to come in, in one possession. It's got to be consistent stops, rebounds, and good shots on offense. In order to cut back at this lead, you're not going to hit a 20-point shot. It's got to be good good possessions, getting the ball inside, playing unselfish basketball. And, the, and they've shown good play so far. I think when they start to get away from their inside play, which is their strength, is where they start to, you know, lose that tempo or that lead. Um, and that's you, kind of their strength. After this free throw, do you maybe look to press Nazareth College a little bit, try to maybe force some turnovers? I think that you have to. But this Nazareth team handles the ball so well that I'm not sure if it's going to be very effective. But we'll see, we'll see what the Coach Kovacs uh, said in this timeout. Biskupiak for his first free throw of the pair. 7.53 on the game clock. Shooting two. Off the mark again. No good on the first free throw.
And gets the second free throw to go. Valencia, no press. Will pick up full court. Preston Kelly, Cody Green, pump fake. That's number 22, Kevin Underwood. No good on the three ball. Here come the Bison. Over to Preston Kelly. Swings it back to Valencia. Inside to Biskupiak. No call on the shot. Looked like a little bit of contact there, but they'll get the basketball underneath. Some substitutions here for the Golden Flyers. Stingland will check back in. Bergio, Jones, and Jacob. Corey Smith will come back in for Gallaudet. Daniels will get a breather. Biskupiak still in the game, has played the entire second half. Valencia with a decent look on the wing and gets the three to go. 66-48, Nazareth College went. Jump stops, turns it over. Here comes Preston Kelly with Corey Smith on the right side. Mishandles the ball and an untimely turnover there. Had the advantage, turn it back over. Kick out to Jacob for three, no good. Outlet to Corey Smith. Skupiak to Kelly. Nice bounce pass from Kelly to Biskupiak, and he's just too much to handle for the Golden Flyers. And Coach Kovacs will call a timeout. Lead is down to 16 with 645, 646 to go here in the game. And Biskupiak there pushes his defender up the floor to, to create that passing angle for Kelly, and Kelly made a great bounce pass. Great pass from the left side of the floor yeah. to, to a big man posting on the, on the right. Put a little English on it where only he could get it. Uh, not an easy pass to make. Great job by the Bison. Established, continue to establish Biskupiak. Uh, if you're uh, Coach Broderick, uh, you got you got to do something to stop them inside. No doubt about that. They're definitely killing them on the glass today, and, and Biskupiak is taking over this game in the second half offensively. And all his points are coming from point blank. Yep, he's doing a great job getting positioned, and then his teammates give credit to his teammates for getting him the ball in the right spots uh, for high percentage shots, and that's what you want on the offensive end. It'll be interesting to see Biskupiak's uh, conditioning level, if Coach gives him a breather here at all in the second half, or if uh, he asks the big fella to just push through and try to make a run at this thing. 16-point game, Golden Flyers on top, 6.46 to go here in the consolation game of the second annual Mauro Pinaggio Invitational. The Bison will stay with Valencia, Smith, Kelly, Biskupiak, and Garner. Man to man, shown by the Bison here. Stingling with the ball on the wing, back up top to Went. Back to that pinch post to Bergio. They're clearing out. He's going to work one-on-one -on -one against Garner. Great defense by Garner. Kelly helps over to Went. Turns the corner. Pulls up from 15. No good. Big rebound coming up. Bergio comes up with it. Gives the Golden Flyers another possession. Kicks it over to Jacob. And Stingling goes up for the dunk, but the ball is deflected by Corey Smith. Valencia will push it down. Great play by Corey Smith to deflect that ball. Stingley looked like he had an easy dunk and a holding call on Chris Jones against Biskupiak, and they are continuing to, uh, to go into the big man. And Biskupiak is going to take a little rest here on the floor. He knows. That's a veteran <laughs> move right there. He knows what he's doing. Uh, Valencia rushed over to pick him up and actually, I think, slipped on his sweat. And <laughs> Valencia seems to be banged up a little bit, and then they both took a rest on the floor. But the big man's had a great second half and has had no breather yet. And I don't think he's going to get one either with the way he's playing. He, Galliadet is counting on him, and he is coming through late in this game. Yep, another pair, a pair of free throws. Uh, hasn't been great at the line today. Uh, but big shots coming up here. Could cut the lead to 14 for the Bison. I 
again off the back iron, misses the front end. Nazareth ball, Went will push, set the offense up over to Stinglin, to Gable. Jacob, back up top to Went. Thirteen on the shot clock. Pick and roll with Went and Bergio drives middle. Tipped behind by number ten Valencia. Thinks it got tipped out of bounds. He's asking for a change of the call. Doesn't look like he's going to get it. The referees may have missed it. He's pretty passionate about that. It'll be Nazareth ball with eight seconds left in the shot clock. Right to the mid-range area, too easy, too easy. They've ran that play several times now and they continue to get good looks off of it in the inbounds. Gallaudet that ball, Valencia pick and roll with the Scoopiak. Drives the ball middle. Nice finish, Garner to clean up and he's gonna be fouled. Garner and Biskupiak is a whole lot to handle and Nazareth is feeling it today. And they're gonna feel it tomorrow too, I'm sure. <laughs> sure is, both very physical, great size. Um, and Garner just a relentless motor. He's not the tallest guy, but he's got a relentless motor. Garner will miss the first of two and, and they've gotta start making these free throws if they're gonna have a chance. They're in the bonus, uh, 18 fouls against Nazareth. They gotta do a better job at the free throw line if they're gonna have a chance. 0 for two from Garner, gets his own rebound but stripped by Went. Nazareth Gable over to Stinglin to Went. Garner hedges on Went over to Gable. Gable for three, no good. Goes over the backboard. It's going to be out of bounds. Gallaudet ball. Just under five minutes to go. 18 point game. Nazareth with the lead. I like the way Went has played today. He's so confident and smooth with the basketball in his hands. Controlling the whole entire offense for this Nazareth team and, and doing a good job getting everyone involved. Yeah, the senior guard uh, from Rochester has done a great job running the show, running the offense, making the right plays. Preston Kelly with a nice Euro step. Man, he's got some sweet moves. Overwind, and he gets the two to go. 68-52, lead is 16. And Nazareth continues to run that offense. Such good movement, such good cutting movement with the ball, without the ball. Kicks it over to Wind. Wind on Valencia, kicks it to Stinglin. Contested three, off the mark, but Nazareth comes up with a rebound there. No, reset the offense. Looking to run a little bit of clock here. Dribble handoff to Stinglin, turns the corner. Floater, no good. Big rebound by Bergio. Two offensive rebounds in a row. Wind up top, will reset. 23 on the shot clock. These possessions can be killer for Gallaudet if they don't come up with a rebound. Clock's running off. Mid-range pull up by number 10, Isaac Nelson. And finally, on the third possession, it goes. If you keep giving them more and more shots, eventually it's going to go in. And right there, that was a good shot. And Nazareth knocks it down. Preston Kelly with a contested three, no good. Rebound by Bergio. Wind will push into the front court. Splits, kicks it to Jones, who mishandles it. Preston Kelly comes up with the basketball. Ahead to Valencia, drive at baseline, behind the back. Step through, contested two. Biskupiak there to clean up, and another basket by Biskupiak on the offensive rebound. And that's 23 for him on the night. Almost Kelly, half of the points for Gallaudet. Kelly looked like he was trying to get an uh, intentional foul to stop the clock. Biskupiak deflects the ball. A uh, little bit of a wild pass there by Daniels. Tries to get the ball to Valencia on the break. And they're gonna call a foul on Valencia and it'll be Nazareth basketball. Substitutions 
for both teams. Kennard will come into the game, as well as Sicoli. Garner will get a break. Kelly will get a break. Into the game for the Golden Flyers, uh, number 22, Kevin Underwood. Underwood over to Nelson. Nelson up top, working over to Stingland. Dribble handoff, turns the corner. Tries to kick it to win, but Valencia with a good rotation. Gets the ball, kicks it ahead to Daniels. Daniels drives baseline. Good defense by Stingman. Scully on the pick and roll. Gets the ball deflected, but it's a foul. And he's going to have a pair of free throws. The score is 70-54 with 2.04 left in the game. Sicoli will cut the lead at 15. And the lead's at 15, but it feels much closer than that as the game has been so competitive all night long, or all day long, I should say. Sure does. <coughs> Into the game, number 32 for the Bison. Werner, John Werner Jr., freshman guard from Frederick, Maryland, will get some minutes here late in the second half. We have a timeout on the floor. And now, Coach Kovacs, I'm sure we'll go to a full court press with two minutes to go. 14 point deficit uh, and it's and it's still possible you know it's still possible for them to make a comeback they have the you know they have a great team um, but this Nazareth team I don't I don't expect them to turn the ball over much they have a lot of good guards uh, that can handle the ball and um, should be able to break this press and make it look easy yeah Nazareth yesterday uh, in their um even in their game against um, Washington and Lee, very low turnovers for the game. I think they had uh, 14 or 15 turnovers for the game. Uh, so they do do a great job of taking care of the basketball. Trapping in the backcourt to the middle to wind, push. And just as you expected, Nazareth breaks the press and will set up their offense. Clock on their side. Dribble weave over to Stinglin. Tries to turn the corner. Backdoor cut, dribble weave to Wind. Over to the younger Stinglin brother who shoots a three ball, and that's good. And that could, that's the backbreaker right there. Break the press and get a three ball, run some clock. Great possession by the Golden Flyers. Gallaudet's got to hurry. Ball over to the wind to Sicoli. Pick and roll with Garner. Turns the corner, nice little one-footed one floater. No good, rebound Nazareth. Ball in Wynn's hand, he's gonna walk it up. Almost at the one minute mark here in Daytona Beach. Stinglin gets the ball deflected but it hits off the back of Sicoli's foot and he comes up with it again. Back up to the older brother Stinglin who works against Sicoli, drives left, kicks it to Wynn, pump fake. All the way over to the younger Stingland for a second three, no good. All over to the freshman guard, Warner Jr. A scoopiac over to Warner Jr. Goalie inside to Garner. Will work against Bergio. And on a high rip through, will Catch him with an elbow. And that will pretty much do it here, as I'm sure Nazareth will hold the ball and not get a shot up. But a, a hard-fought game by both teams, and I was really impressed by this Gallaudet team, especially their inside play. Today. Yeah, yeah, definitely a team with great size. And they, they, they showed their toughness and their competitiveness. Stingland will push it over. Shot clock is off. Gallaudet continues to play hard. Then we'll hold back up top to wind. 
14 seconds left in the shot clock. And that'll do it, folks, for the consolation game. Nazareth College from New York will get third place here at the second annual Mauro Panaggio Invitational Tournament. The Gallaudet Bison uh, will go home with a fourth place finish. Great job by both teams of competing to the very last minute. Uh, unfortunately, it just seemed the turnovers for Gallaudet were a little bit too much um, to handle. They got themselves in a big hole early in the second half. Uh, and although they fought back, the Golden Flyers of Nazareth College were a little bit too much for them to handle. Yeah, and their guards are young. Kelly, he's got some promise. He's had some good play, just uh, some turnovers today. And Martin, really good shooter. He's a, he's a junior. Um, the whole team will be back next year. Only one senior on the roster, I believe. Where, uh, Garner is the only senior. They'll miss him. Um, oh, and Cody Grace. But they'll uh, return Biskupiak. Corey Smith will be a sophomore next year. Uh, they return Valencia and his cousin Biskupiak. So a uh, bright future for the Gallaudet Bison. And, uh, and they've, they've got a lot to work for for this season, but also for, for next year. Definitely a, a, a tough schedule. Good games down here, good competition that'll prepare them uh, for the second half of their season. And for some final stats here of the consolation game, uh, the leading scorer for Gallaudet was, as expected, Biskupiak with 22 points, seven rebounds, and a great job by the big man. Uh, second leading scorer was Corey Smith with nine points. For Nazareth, leading scorer was Stinglin with 15 points. Bergio tallied 14 and five assists to go with it. And Brendan Wynn had seven assists, one turnover. Uh, great job leading this team, taking care of the basketball and getting his teammates involved, along with uh, eight points. Uh, Jake Bergio also had a double-double with uh, 10 rebounds. We are 21 minutes away here from the championship game between the Brockport Eagles and the Generals of Washington Lee University. Should be a extremely fun matchup. Both teams uh, with big wins yesterday. Uh, deep rosters, talented. Uh, Washington Lee, a team with two incredibly talented big men who do it all, can score at all three levels, can make plays for others. Uh, Brockport, an athletic, tough physical team who plays with two forwards inside, uh, an up-tempo style, and they're gonna look to uh, run and gun and, and get great shots at the rim and use their athleticism. And uh, Washington Lee, a very disciplined, half-court defensive team that also likes to push the tempo and transition. So this should be a, uh, a great championship game here in Daytona Beach at the second annual Moro Pinaggio Invitational Tournament. Uh, this is Dan Mondragon and Matt Pinaggio. We're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back in about 15 minutes. <laughs> 